Hello everyone, welcome to a video that may either fascinate you or maybe horrify you, depending on what you think about technology going crazy. BCIs or brain computer interfaces are something that, well, maybe in a few years we'll start seeing more of. In fact, I really do believe we'll see a lot more of them. Maybe not for consumers yet, but eventually. It's basically nerve gear from Sword Art Online. It is a device that is allowed to connect directly into your brain and can conceive neural impulses into data that can control or read from a computer. Some of you may have seen the recent uh, Monkey Playing Pong by the Neuralink team. A lot of people like Monkey. And while that demo was really impressive, I mean, it was freaking Monkey Playing Pong with his brain. That That's cool. There were some skeptics that kind of had a feeling that well, a monkey's brain is a little more simple. They have a one-track mind. This stuff cannot happen on humans anytime soon. Well, a recent study from a very long-term clinical trial uh, actually had some really interesting results I would love to share with you guys. So you know how writing works, right? You just, you know, use your hand or your fingers and write, draw, whatever scribbles you would like. We're kind of used to that. But there's a lot of group of people that are not so used to that. People that have a disability may not be able to do the things that we take for granted. And in this trial, there was one person that had a very severe disability that allows him not to really do anything with his hands or anything that would allow him to write in real life. To conquer this disability and find a way to allow this person to be able to do things that we all take for granted, a member of the National Prosthetics Translational Laboratory at Stanford and a Howard Hughes Medical Institute research specialist design a BCI that plugs into their brain and allows them to actually think the things that the, the letters that they're running. So if they would think A, the computer would actually draw out A as if they were thinking with a 94% success rate. Here's a GIF showing off the brain signals being translated into the handwriting very accurately using the BCI unit. That's, that's honestly, I don't know, I, I, I think it's amazing. Not only was this very accurate, but it also allowed the person to actually type 90 characters per minute. Which, again, it's not 90 words per minute, but still, when you are not able to do anything like this normally, that is a pretty big deal. One thing I should know about this BCI study is actually the fact that, well, this is actually a still wired computer. So that means if you think uh, playing wired VR is annoying, imagine having your brain wired. They want to make it wireless and a little bit smaller for the implant, but they're, it's, it's still good stride. So obviously this is a VR gaming channel. However, the reason I bring this up is because everyone is dreaming of the day that we can plug our brains into the matrix and literally do what we want without moving our real life body because we're freaking lazy. Game Newell also sees VR and AR as just transition points to actually real BCI because he believes that the, uh, Technology is basically going to be very transitional if we don't start figuring out BCI now and get used to it. Uh, we'll be left in the dust. So this one application is obviously very good and very makes a lot of sense for people that literally have a disability. And this is just writing. VR itself is actually very inaccessible for some people due to the fact that they may have a disability and not be able to actually enjoy the greatness that we all share. I've even come across some people that are either deaf or mute in social VR apps, but they enjoy the experience so much that they have to go through all these hoops, like maybe having something to translate speech into text or all these other convoluted ways just so they can have the full social VR experience. What if it, having to rely on their eyes or all these convoluted programs, the actual voice data or everything around them was just able to transmit directly into their brain with BCIs? That's just one very simple and very good application for the technology. We can always talk about the privacy concerns and all the issues that BCIs probably will have once they actually get implemented into society. But for now, I'd rather look at the optimism of what the technology could actually bring for the good of the world. So what do you think about this study? Or BCIs in general? Are you like, eh, don't touch me companies? Or are you like, plug me in daddy Gaben? Let me know by writing with your fingers, probably.
in the comment section below. And I hope you all have a great day.